Here we go. It is time to enter the NHL entry draft after being victorious in the Champions Hockey League tournament. As I said, I will miss playing there. I really liked the jerseys. The rink and the presentation was just really awesome. But it is time to move on and it is time to get started in the show. We've already done our draft interviews. Only two teams interviewed us. The first overall pick, Chicago, and the second in Anaheim. So we know we're going one or two. My guess is we're going one because everything I've been told so far points to that. So yeah, I think I have a good reason to think we're going number one. However, you never know. So let's go ahead, enter the draft and find out where Scott Sterling is picked. Here we go. Will it be one? Will it be two? Will we slip down big time? Wow, we did get passed up by Chicago. We are headed to... I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming at all. I'm in though. I am totally in. We don't get to play with Bedsy, but we do get to play with Leo Carlson. We do get to play with Zegris. It's going to be a good team. Continuing our conversation with Ray Ferraro here on the Let's show. Let's continue it. It's got to be a nice moment for the kid getting drafted. Great moment. Called. Uh, it's better than that, James. It's a realization, really, of a lifelong dream. I mean, since he's a little kid, he's been dreaming about getting drafted into the NHL. Here we go. Now, we enter the, the arena. We've got is that the kid was supposed to be heading down to the rink sometime. And we enter today. the locker room. Check out the new surroundings. This has got to be like the first day of school, Razor. Guaranteed he would have gone Same cutscene, still down. The locker room. You walk in there for the first time, you can't believe your lifelong dreams are about to happen. And when you're looking around, I'm assuming, you know, is he thinking the nameplate might be up there? Oh, you're hoping, but you know, you're <laughs> going to learn that those trainers no don't shot. very often. The jersey's ready. Your name has never looked so good as when it's looking on fancy the there. Ball. But what I remember, James, is the, Scotty. the nervousness, how scared you were. And then you're like, I'm in an NHL room. I can't believe this. <laughs> it is the very best of feelings that you can have till you step on the ice the first time. And now we have a meeting with our GM. Oh my word, here it goes. And their prized possession, the new shiny draft pick to kind of have a chance to sit down. Okay, yeah, just welcoming me to the squadron. Um, let's build up some team-like ability. You know, it, I know a lot of fans are wondering, can he make that jump now? Can he make that jump and be an impact player in the National Hockey League? I think Hopefully. management took him for a reason. There might be that opportunity. I think he's going to get that shot. He's going to get every opportunity to try to make the team this coming year. It's yep. ultimately on the player to ultimately deliver on that, right? So we'll wait and see how things play out. But it certainly sounds I just like want to play hockey. both sides feel very good I just want to play hockey. about this fit based on everything that I've been told. All right, time for a quick break. Being chosen top 10 is an honor. Buddy, I was second. So there you have it, a top <laughs> 10 selection and certainly a lot of hugs. Oh, uh, my goodness. And the family and with it comes the expectations. Very excited, right? of course. Once this honeymoon period I'm kinda definitely looking forward down, to seeing action. He's going to go to camp and he's going to be a marked man. The expectations are high. I think there's going to be a hope amongst the fan base that is looking for that sort of something to get excited about. Something. There's going to be an expectation for him to try to crack this roster coming up in camp. So, I like the pick. I like the selection. I like he where he slots in. Oh, now guys. it's on him to show that he's worth it. Come on! I just want to play goalie. That's all I want to do. I don't want to talk to you. Sealed and delivered. Yes, the entry-level contract, better known technically as the ELC. Yeah, you know me. Uh, is signed up and now it's time to find out if he can live up to the hype I think fans would love to see him make that jump to the opening night roster management would love to see just him. stop knock it off some more points to spend and I will be doing that but not right now we're going to continue simming and then once we get to the actual preseason is when I'm gonna go in add all those which might bring us up an overall or two it's hard to say and obviously we got to get some new equipment. So we currently have three points. I am going to, yeah, I'll do one for glove low. Stick low, yeah, maybe. I do really want to improve our rebound control. So that's a thing. Doesn't even get us up to 80. And recover, that doesn't really do much either. What can I do here? Vision, that's pretty important. Let's go for more speed. There you go. All right. So we have a goals. Really? 
Now that's fascinating. I kind of feel like the colors they give for the ducks isn't crazy accurate, but I don't know. It's not changing much, really. It's basically the same. Actually, that's not true. It's going from a red to more of an orangey color. So there is a difference there for sure, but it's very subtle. Actually, I don't know if I want to go with the orange or if I want to go... I don't know. What should I do? I, this kind of fits better. Maybe I'll go with that. This is actually kind of a tough team to make equipment for. You know, if I was like the Leafs or Tampa, it's simple. Blue and white. But this is slightly more complex. I think there was also going to be something this year about having different equipment for different jerseys. Like presets almost. So I don't know if that's in the game now and I just have no idea how to utilize that or if it doesn't exist yet. Um... I don't really know how I feel about this, but that's what we're going to go with for now. Our first preseason game against the Golden Knights, and I will not be partaking. I'm simulating. Sorry, not sorry. Preseason just simply does not intrigue me. If we get sent to the AHL, like I said, so be it. We won 4-3. That's a big win in our first game. Of course, James has to weigh in. Okay, let's bring it back to the ice. And How'd you feel on the ice? Felt lovely. Young how about him? 875 save percentage. Yuck. So after that performance in his debut exhibition game. Thanks. Yes, I get it's only exhibition. I understand that. Yeah, it's only exhibition. I played are, like poo. Those are pros. Those are adults that he was facing, not kids anymore. And he looked dominant out there. That was a really impressive performance there. And one I am looking forward to see if he can build on that going forward. All right, meantime, we've got that big interview we've been talking about. You're doing well, but I know you can do better. I, the promises are back, really. Come on, I don't want to do this all over again. And we won it. That was our promise, and I succeeded. So that's a good way to start. Wait, what? Why does she look upset? Oh, never mind. It's the type of effort we need. Okay, cool. 910 save percentage. How about it? The interesting thing is Gibson does want out, but this game obviously is not aware of that. So he's probably going to be sort of my mentor in this, I would imagine. Huge 6 1 win after a loss there. So far in camp. I'm going to level with you, people. You're doing great. The fact that goalies take so long to develop. And this kid looks Sounds like he's, he's about to cry to right now. I think he's going to be on the opening night roster. And I know there's one more game. I think he. And I think you'd like to see him finish match. up strong. But based on what I've seen so far, he's on this team. I love what I've seen from this kid. He looks ready. He looks ready for prime time. Getting Let's like say, ASMR from James here. Line number five. We've got. How many times do you have to talk to me? The preseason's over, you knocked it out of the park. Wow, I made the final roster. Great. Now, can we start the season, please? Listen, I don't want to be Sir Complains a lot, all right? But just please give me an option to turn down the amount of meetings. That's all I ask. You know, look, we always know how long it takes for goaltenders to make that jump to the NHL level, and we'll find out real soon just what this team's got on their hands with him between the pipes because they're ready I, for him of course to i'm gonna they're ready for him they obviously think that is that he's way more realistic first of all look i think he's going to be a special goaltender for this team and he is the goaltender not just of the future but of the now he's ready to go i think he's got the ability he's got the size hopefully the, the challenges stay up. like that but until you know you don't know and we're going to find out real quick Why did my equipment just change? what he can do with this team in goal. Um, All right, let's get back to the phones here. We've got That's interesting. You went from the draft floor to being drafted, going through preseason, and now it's time for your NHL debut. What do you expect from this game? Not much, I'm going to be honest with you, but I'll just go with the team answer. I cannot provide you the diplomatic answer, which looks like a lot of things going on there. So instead, I will fit in. I will not try to persuade because we have no persuasion ability. Actually, you know what? I am going to try. Didn't think it was going to work. I find that a bit confusing. Sounds like a you problem. Sorry, I missed the part where that's my issue. And now we're meeting with a fan. Uh, X-ray. I get it. No matter what. Play on this team for five years. That's a long time. You know that? No. I don't think so. This is my time, James. The Golden Knights 0-1-1. One one. He just doesn't give up. He does not give up. What if we view the lines? We've got Zegris, Troy Terry, 
McTavish, love that. Vetrano, okay. Strom. Defensively, we've got Fowler and Drysdale. That's nice. Braun with Colton White. Okay, so we don't have the best team in the world here. Sterling at 73 overall gets the season opener over John Gibson. <laughs> Love it. So as we do, let's simulate the first two periods and see if we are getting denialated going into the third. Because we are a very low overall. So the chances of them scoring, very high. There you go. Will Carrier and Tarasenko both just scored. There are seven shots and two goals. Thought one of them was on the power play, but I guess we just killed it off and then they scored. All right, so that is less than ideal. But I mean... I, like I said, I don't expect our team to be good this year. Barbashev scores. Stone scores on the power play. Yeah. It's going to be a rough go. I need to manage an 850 save percentage, actually, over the next five games to complete a promise. Okay. Okay. We're turning the page a little bit here. A goal from Zegers and McTavish. They have a power play. They don't score. Can we at least hold this? Going into the third. All right. That's fine. My low overall is most likely going to be a factor here. Like, shots are just gonna go in, and there's probably not a whole lot I can do about it. I can definitely tell, though, that the arena is smaller. I miss the CHL arena, I gotta be honest. This feels, like, very compact. Marchessault just got dropped after carrying the puck over his own blue line. Here we go! Nice try. I like the effort. That was a close call. Now here comes Stone. Can I get my first NHL shot, and can I save it? That is the question. Stone goes to Theodore. Down low. Oh, get destroyed. Was that Eichel too? Sit down. Nice shot. Jamie Drysdale does a little backpedal and sends it home. A howitzer brings this game within one goal. Love to see it. Look, the back pedal. Boom. How you doing? I like the boards, too. Where it's dynamic and it showed, you know, the goal thing. I mean, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about it. But, yeah, I'm in. So, all of a sudden, we've got ourselves a hockey game. It is 4-3. I didn't really look at their shots. No, sorry, our shots too much. So, I don't know how their goalie is doing. I know that I was not doing so well. And I obviously... Gotta do better. Get up, get up, get up. Chandler with it. He tried to take another one. But our defense wouldn't allow it. And now we get the puck out. That was stressful. Here we go, Henrik. He then takes a shot, Logan Thompson. With a really stupid play. But it somehow managed to work out for him. Because now his team's on the power play. That was a me level play. Like, I do stuff like that. Normally, the AI do not. They have no problem with smothering the puck. No way! What a poke check from Logan! That could have been a backdoor tap-in. Stone goes to Eichel. Whoa! Alright, alright, alright. We're all good. We are all good. Barbashev. Go, Carrick! Come on! Tie this thing up shorthanded! No! If he went backhand, he would have had the whole net. Okay, well, you know what? Is that... Done already? No, it is not. There is 37 seconds remaining. That is a clutch draw win. Managed to keep it in. Drysdale down to Carrick. Let's go, guys. Oh, my word! What is going on? This is quite the third period from the Mighty Ducks. Yeah, Selly it up. Sam just made up for that breakaway kerfuffle. Big time. McTavish. Nice shot. I wonder if this is going to be like franchise mode where players sort of dynamically get their abilities and X-Factors. Because I'm down. If they do that, that's pretty cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did I go so far right there? That was very strange. Now it's our turn to be on the power play. And hopefully we can get something going here. And hopefully we don't get scored on shorthanded like we managed to do. Blast from the point. That will be saved by the glove. And we got a little breakout going here. Never mind. Thankfully, that crossed the line. Come on, lads. We have the man advantage. Let's play like it. Nice try. Thompson with a big save. And he passes it out. What is, what is this guy on? All right, let me play the puck for the first time. Yeah, right to you. Easy, light work. Also, I don't know if you heard, but someone from the bench maybe or something was like, freeze it. 
Yeah, no. Nice shot, but a good save by Logan. We are really playing well here in this third period. This is not what I expected. Especially against a team like this. That is a save. I'm throwing it out. Shouldn't have done that, but Stone backed off for some reason. So maybe he's just like, you know what? Guy's a rookie. He just threw it out. I'll give him a break. Nice pass to Troy Terry. He's able to walk in, but couldn't get the shot off that he wanted. And now the Golden Knights are right back this way. Marjuso tried to go for a quick pass there. And that would be broken up by our defense. And now we enter their zone again. Come on, Trevor, let's go. We've already got two goals in this third period. Why not get three goals in the third period? You know, three for three. I'm not letting off that post. I know what you were trying there. You were trying to fake me out. But I've gotten better with that in recent goalie via pros. If this was like NHL 15, I would have been on the other side of the rink from that little pump fake. Four minutes remain. And we got ourselves quite the contest here. Barring them scoring another goal, I think my save percentage here is actually recovered a little bit. I've made quite a few saves. Can you imagine if we go to a shootout in my first game? That is a massive no thank you on behalf of me. How'd that not go in? Just barely missed the net by the looks of it. Logan Thompson with the poke check again. He has been clutch with those. We are now under a minute. So the chances of overtime have gone up drastically. Another save there on Stone. Tried to go for the short side shot. Now Hag with it. Did I get a piece of that? If I saved that, then I am the best. <laughs> Let's see here. March or so winds up. I'm trying to like... Uh, yeah, no, I did not get a piece of that, and I think it was probably going in if it wasn't for this guy right here. So, Braun, today, you saved a goal. Oh, no, they won the draw. Point shot is saved. No, 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 come on. Really? What a way to lose your first game. He just picked it up and immediately... Wow. That was like a whip. Unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. One final save here and throw it out to Braun. Yeah. I got minus points for the loss, but you know what? I don't care. Still think I played pretty good. Obviously... Completely comfortable in his It's not NHL a popular interview, opinion. But I think there's a lot of goaltenders and a lot of players for that matter that seem a little overwhelmed and a little jittery yeah. the first time they compete in an NHL contest. And so, look, it's one game. It wasn't the debut and the start that he would have hoped for. Doesn't get the win. You know, probably would like a goal back. But I would still say this. I would you know, like a goal back. He's that young, last one. He's talented, and it's only one game. It is All one right, game. He's got a point. He's got a very valid point there. As we continue our he is here. spitting facts. You know what? Is you still try to figure out what this club's all about. Oh, this man. Uh, Johnson, hi, River. John, how are you? Welcome to the show. I'm doing well, James. I mean, I'm not worried. I mean, a lot of people are jumping the gun here. And you don't think I could stop a beach ball after one game? All right, trade me. Get me out of here. Carolina is somehow 0-2? Yo, James, like, honestly, we are just getting started, and I've had it. Game two, Carolina Hurricanes. And I think we're at home... <laughs> yeah. At least that was it. For the first period, anyway. Alright, Sebastian. I see you. They do have 17 shots. Not okay, great. They're piling on the shot, so... At least our save percentage is looking decent. It's not terrible right now. Are we gonna go... Into the third period, down by two. No, we're not, because Pesci has something to say about it. We are going to be down by two. All right. Thanks, Jones. Most likely failing both the challenges, because, well, one has already failed. The other one is just most likely going to be a failure. Blocker shave, because 
We needed to let in a max of two goals apparently in this game. So that one's toast. And we need to win this game. Down by two. It's possible. But it's going to be tough. Got a big hill to climb here. That draw win was so clean that the defense didn't even want to touch it. The circles around the player really brings me back to like NHL 06. They don't have Freddy in net. That's fascinating. Slavin sends the puck down the ice and it goes off of the back of our defender. Wow. They are showing us the business right now. And you know what? I'm going to throw it right back in their face. Let's go. Let's go. I don't even remember what this guy's name was, but it's not Freddy. Nigren. All right, let's do this. And dodge. Boom. There you go. How does it feel? Oh, too slow. <laughs> All right, he's going in for the clutch and just barely missed time that dodge. Got that one, though. Go for the uppercut. You know you want to. Do it. Oh, I wanted to hook. Okay, I'll give it one more shot. No, not happening. Sir? Yeah. Good night. 3-0. I seriously have no idea why my equipment changed. It actually did. As I saw during that Tilly. So. Look at the hops on Leeson right there. That's the effort we need. If we want to win this game. Who did it? Who are you? Identify yourself, please. Paul Byron, eh? Unbelievable. <laughs> it's turning into a party in there. Sebastian has it in the middle, and he's going to try a clapper five hole. Nope. No chance. They still have possession, though. A point shot is not going to go anywhere near the net. Stall gives it to Turbo. And now Pesci has it down low. Another save. Are we... For some reason, I thought we had another... Penalty pending, but no, we did not, thankfully. Glove save, throw it out to you, and Braun makes a lovely breakout pass to Mr. Penalty. Paul Byron, here we go, Strom. Good shot. Great save, though. Goalie handing it out. They are making some risky passes here, and I am in. Thank you. So I'm not the only one doing it. That's unfortunate. It was a good shot. I gotta give credit where it's due. And yeah, he picked his spot. What's going on? What's going on? Turbo with it now. Silverberg came back. Makes a great play defensively. And then lets that muffin go <laughs> into the Carolina zone. But he did just drop somebody. So I think the pros offset the cons there. Blocker stop on Sebastian. And a battle win for Cam Fowler. Jamie Drysdale playing forward right now. He's in. Goes for a pass in the middle. All right. We will be headed to the man advantage. Let's see if we can bring this game back to within two. If he got that over to 1-4. And 1-4 did that one knee clappy. I mean, there's still a small chance. But I don't think the goalie would have had it. Come on, Frankie. He's in. Goes for the pass to 1-4. That is not the time we should have passed to him. Because Henrik had a much better shot earlier. There we go. Blocked. And what just happened? Holy crap. I didn't know the Incredible Hulk was on the ice. What was that? That sounded like... Oh. It was definitely the glass breaking. Okay. Yep. Yep. Brent Burns just got labeled against the boards. And the glass decided it was going to shatter. Maybe the glass broke because of all the pressure. I'll be here all day. Or for probably the next, like, I don't know, 5 to 10. Yarvis tried to get a shot off and he failed. Oh, that was a successful shot. And a even more successful save. Drysdale once again playing forward here. What a play and a great save by... I don't remember his name again. Nice something. Nice hit. Yarvis just got sat down. Still going at it, though. Glove save from Tara Vine and shot there. Oh, that defense thought he had a shot. Oh, he did end up getting one anyway. But yeah, our defense... Jeez. Okay, let's get this thing out of here. That was a really risky pass. I don't know if I'd be giving coaches feedback saying good pass there. But that's just me. Yeah? No! 
Gotta bury those. You have to. Still down by three. Not much time remaining. I think the Ducks are starting 0-2. We could have went to overtime if they didn't score with literally 0 0.05 seconds left. Sveshnikov! Oh! Get destroyed on the rebound too! Oh! Get destroyed again! <laughs> oh no. Ah! I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. I got too confident. I started chill and it turned into a frantic scramble. Super quick. Oh, you got this. You don't got this. How do you not score that? It's like a glitch goal. No shot. There is no way I could have saved that. I had the initial, and the rebound went off the right mini wheat. Pretty far, actually. So maybe the rebound control could have helped me out there, but... Yeah. Okay. Alright. I see you. The fans are absolutely letting us have it. That was a close call again. If they went up 6-1, might have shed a tear. No promises, but the chance is always there. 20 seconds remaining, and I kind of just want to get out of here at this point. Martinuk trying to... No, 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 no. Yeah, I'll throw it out. Why not? Let's just get this over with. They had 50 shots. They had 50 shots. Nygren played out of his mind, but I mean... I still had a 900 save percentage, so I think that's half decent. Now the question is, are you ready for James Meeting Simulator 24? A lot of people on social media as well, itching to get in here as well. Social we'll media. In a moment, but hey, I gotta say this, and I know some people have been really critical about the young goaltender. I wanna say- Critical? I like what I've seen here over I the last I am hungry. He was challenged by the coaching staff to be better. And I know there's some nights where the, the puck's probably going in a little more than most of us would like to see. Mm. But I will say this. Play two games, by the way. You cannot look at me with a straight face and tell me he has underperformed. He has played well. He has he underperformed. Has made some big time stops on multiple nights. Done. And this has not been him. He has played well. I think he could use a little help in front of him a little more. Oh, promise time failure. Time. But this kid has responded fairly well in my eyes since he was challenged by the coaching staff going back a couple of weeks ago. All right, let's go to the phones. Let's go to line number three. Unbelievable. We are not in for this game against Dallas. So let's sim it and see if John Gibson get us a win. No, he also failed and we took an L. We're not in against the 3-0-1 Coyotes. Oh, there we go. Big dub. The Boston Bruins coming up next, and we have another conversation. Tonight was not my first win. I don't know how you manage that. Maybe Gibson got pulled or he got hurt or something, but... Okay. Yeah, of course this could be a start of a winning streak. Obviously. We're not in against the 5-0-0 Columbus Blue Jackets. Oh, wait, never mind. It's him up to game. We are in against the 5-0-0 Columbus Blue Jackets. I'm up to the challenge, I guess. And obviously we want to get through the season pretty quick. So if I am going to be getting this many starts, we're going to be doing three games video. This one is just, you know, a little bit different because of all the stuff that happened before. But yeah, we'll be doing two videos. Or <laughs> None of that was true. None of that. We will be doing three games per video. There you go. And I'm likely going to play one, sim one, if we're playing like this amount, or if we start playing a lot, then I might do play one, sim two, because yeah, we don't want this to drag out. We want to progress. We want to get things going. So I'm pretty much going to be doing exactly what I did in the 23 Be a Pro. All right, well, I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying this series so far. Hopefully you're enjoying the game. I will see you soon.